In this video, I'm going to talk a little bit about how to output um, output items that you dump into an array and how to output those items onto the screen, uh, or at least use the variables that you get from the array for how to break it up, <clears throat> and how I like to do it in a couple of lines. So what I do is, uh, let's look right here for the bank total, okay? So in bank total, uh, we're accessing this find all banks using, and we pass in the user ID, okay? But because this find this all month, all months all banks function is is returning an array, we can't just say bank total is equal to that one bank total because it's actually an array. So we have to break that array up into different parts, and for that we have to use a for each loop. So we say for each bank total as bt or whatever as row. Okay. So after it, it goes bank total equals bt, and then it's it's what what we've called it in the actual uh, return of the database. Now, this part here, bank total, if we look at our bank class, notice that there's no bank total in our database, okay? However, I did put bank total as a variable here because when we call that find this all months bank passed in the user ID, even though it's coming out of the database, we have to have it, whatever it's called here as sum of price and quantity as bank total. If we used bank total here, we need to make sure that's one of the function, that's one of the variables that we've declared in this object. Otherwise you can't use it, okay? So you have to declare, it. you don't actually put it in the column, you don't put it in the database. However, if you've used it here, you need, um, you need to call it uh, up here in the actual and you don't put it in the construct either because this construct is is what comes mostly for the database <clears throat> back on the home page um, now that we've accessed that row we take the column of the row bank total and we set it equal to um, our new variable called bank to total or tot at that point we can use this variable anywhere on the page okay and this is our home page so if you look at the home page, um, you'll be able to you see that we we've done the bank total. It's actually we also call it current retirement. Same thing with average monthly contribution. We go to monthly and find our average contribution on the monthly. Okay, and then we do the same thing. We 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 drag this array into here, convert it into rows, take the row and the column header, and dump it into an actual new variable that we can use on the page. Okay. So later on down the page, when we're this is still on the same page, we have our function, and remember our function takes in uh, the interest rate, the contribution, the current balance, and what our nest egg is. Okay, and within the within the actual uh, function itself, we run it through here, and we're, we're returning how many months this loop has to be until this current amount is bigger than the nest amount. Down here, we use that function twice. We've used it here for anticipated using the anticipated numbers coming out of our uh, user table. And we've also done it with actual using our actual numbers coming out of our all of our other tables. Okay. The problem that I was running into is that on the home page, if this actual didn't have any data, it was it was uh, killing the whole website. So I just made an if statement here that says if the actual interest is less than zero or or this this double pipe here, which is right above the enter key, or that's an or statement, or the average monthly contribution is less than zero, don't do anything. Else, run the function and set the variables equal to what they are. When I go to actually output them, I also added an if statement um, in, under like, you'll notice under retirement age that says if the actual age is greater than zero put it out there okay and then i use this floor function to um you can google it else say we don't have enough information okay that way it just formats a little bit better okay hopefully this helps i know it's um the vid this video is a little bit crazy but i think this is bit this video has probably more information in it than i probably should should have given you however um it give it gives you a lot of um 
really good information. We talk about if statements. We talk about um, the retire the using using the functions that you built. Okay, and then this other if statement.